it's early in the morning. It's a, uh, a beautiful gray morning out and uh, I am out running some errands. I uh, had to go to the hardware store to get some stuff. Uh, but I am working on a review of this new Artisan Snooze, Artisan Espresso. And I am not really a big coffee drinker. Uh, just never really been my thing. I'm more of a tea guy, but I figured since I was gonna be reviewing a, uh, a coffee flavored snooze, man, that smells like coffee, that I should probably try and, I don't know, drink some coffee with it. But I don't really want hot coffee. So, I don't know, maybe something cold, I guess. I don't really know much about coffee. I do know that my daughter is like the Starbucks queen, so that's really the only coffee shop I know of. So that's probably where I'm gonna go, just because I don't want to overly complicate this whole process. But trying to figure out what to drink is gonna be interesting. But I don't wanna seem like a total noob when I get there, so I'm just gonna download the Starbucks app and uh, try and figure out on their, uh, their app what I should order, just so I don't look like a total dork when I walk inside, like, hey, uh, what should I get? Uh, I imagine I want something cold, so iced coffee, I guess? Hey, iced espresso, that's smart, because this is an espresso. What can I add to it? Add a powder? Ooh, chocolate powder, that sounds like fun. I guess we could add a creamer. Uh, I do like soy milk. So I, I usually drink like soy milk. So we'll add in some soy milk. Let's do an add in. Let's add in some chocolate malt powder. I don't know how big this should be. It auto selected tall. So I'm just gonna go with tall. So an iced espresso with chocolate powder, a splash of soy milk and chocolate malt powder. So we have our order. Looks like I just need to check out and uh, we should be we should be good to go. Okay, so I have placed my order. It says it'll be ready in about nine to 12 minutes and I selected drive-through. I was gonna go in. I originally thought about doing this video like going in somewhere, ordering coffee, like sitting there and typing on my laptop like the coffee shop kids do and all that. And I was like, that's not really me. So I'm just gonna do this the best way I, I possibly know how to do. I'm just gonna go get something that sounds like it would go with this. And then we'll probably go somewhere and sit back and drink and film the video. Cause I didn't wanna be like, you know, I don't know, not not so much pretentious, but like not myself doing this video. So this is about the best I can do. I'm gonna try espresso in this video and we're gonna review an espresso snooze. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and head over to Starbucks and grab our drink. an online order for Chad. For Chad? Okay, we got that ready for you. Okay. Right around here. Okay. Hello. Hi. Here you go. Awesome. Can Thank you. you. Uh, no, I'll be good. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. All right. So I am going to go find somewhere to uh, kick it and we'll sit and uh, drink coffee and talk about snooze. So there's a pretty good sized lake by where I live. So I decided I would come out here and film because it's morning, it's not gonna be super crowded. Uh, you know, there's, there's ducks walking around, pretty quiet and it's not too windy. Usually when I film outside, it is super windy. And of course, you know, random kid shoes because why not? But this part, this is, uh, is really out of character for me. Smells good though. I mean, it's got a pretty nice uh, chocolatey aroma to it. So I guess we'll see how this tastes. I mean, it's not awful. It's, uh, it's kind of bitter, but you know, espresso. Uh, but the chocolate kind of rounds it out and that little splash of soy milk add a little bit of a creaminess to it. So not something I drink every day, but you know, not awful. And it looks like there's some some tables and some benches over there so we'll probably go post up over there and sit and talk snooze so this seems a pretty relaxing place to sit and talk about snooze We've got the lake behind us it's a nice day out it's not super windy so i think this will uh this will work pretty well this isn't bad i mean i wouldn't drink coffee all the time because it's not really my thing but i mean for what we created here it's not like it's not awful or anything. Funny though, uh, earlier 
when I was over there at Starbucks, I texted my uh, my teenage daughter a picture of my order, and I uh, I said I don't drink coffee, so wish me luck. Uh, I hope this isn't awful. Uh, and I said, does it sound delicious? And all she said was no. So in teen speak, that doesn't sound like a uh, a drink that the the teens will go for. So why did I do this particular one? Well, it ties into the snooze we're talking about today. This is of course an espresso snooze, so we did an espresso. But the flavor description on this one says that it's kind of, uh, you know, slightly chocolatey, which is why I added in the, the chocolate to this one. See, I wanted to I wanted to try to get the full experience so that I could kind of taste what, you know, is all coffee's all about. I've had it here and there, but it's just never really been something I went for. And I wanted to see what the experience was like pairing this particular snooze with a coffee. So I think we... Uh, I think we have a proper experience. Man, these portions are beautiful though. Like, look at these. That is a, uh, a packed full can. These are, uh, I think they're 0.9 grams, uh, a good amount of them in there. Kind of uh, longer portions, but they're wide, like a, like a regular size. So like longer, like a slim, but like the width of a, a regular size portion. And really good amount of moisture with these. Okay. I mean, it smells similar to my drink. It does have that black coffee to it, kind of kind of bitter. A little bit of chocolate in there. Kind of some nuttiness. A nice earthy base tobacco. A pretty interesting combination of aromas. You know, there's not really been a lot of coffee snooses over the years. I mean, I've been reviewing snooze for a while and um, I've reviewed, uh, this channel is new, but I've reviewed elsewhere before, but um, I, I've, I've only had a handful over the years, and there's only one that's been around full time, uh, Old Bing 99, which launched several years ago. That's really the only coffee snooze that's been around full time, which is kind of strange because coffee is so popular. It, it always struck me as, as odd that there's not more coffee snoozes out there. But this one definitely has a different presence than that one. That one's a little bit sweeter. This one is more more bitter focuses more on the um, like the black coffee element uh, portions really nice though I mean this thing it's it's plump uh, it's got a soft material so it has a good fit under the lip it's not too wide but it sits just right uh, and the flavor release is really quick too so that's one of the things I wanted to focus on in this review was kind of pairing the flavors and seeing how they how they'd work together um, but the flavor comes on pretty quick with this one so I'm happy about the moisture amount um, I, I think that's great um, but the flavor let's let's dive in and really dig into that so it's got a pretty nice taste to it you know again I'm I'm not someone who really drinks coffee but I can see why coffee lovers would enjoy this snooze it's got a nice like black coffee base it does have some bitterness to it which is why i'm glad i tried this out because i don't think i've ever had espresso before so i am kind of uh, picking up what they were going for because the drink is bitter um like a black coffee bitter and i picked that up with this one as well like a, a bitter dark coffee taste um kind of roasted in essence uh, I do pick up some subtle tones of chocolate, not too much that they're like overly sweet. They, they almost come across like a bitter dark, like a Belgian chocolate, um, but a really nice uh, chocolatey flavor on the back end of that coffee taste. It's not super creamy, um, not super sweet. It does have a, a, a little sweetness to it, along with like a very faint like nutty tone. I should have added in some hazelnut to this one because I think that would have really set it off. Trying to, de trying to decode what the flavor is in this in a, in a coffee drink so I can get the perfect pairing. So next time I'm gonna repeat this, probably take the cream out and add some hazelnut, and I think that would be pretty close to, to matching the flavor of the snooze. And the flavor stretches out for quite a while too. Um, I was at the hardware store, I don't know, that was like 40 minutes ago, I think. And uh, I, I put a portion in when we were there, and uh, the flavor's been kicking around this whole time. I mean, I'm still getting a bold taste with this one. And I, I've obviously had this several times before doing this review because I like to do my research first. Um, so I can tell you the flavor lasts up to an hour, sometimes more. So that, that's a pretty good longevity for an original portion. That's pretty impressive. A lot of times if with a flavored snooze, the flavor kind of peters out at about 40, 45 minutes or so but then um, you're left with just the tobacco base. With this one, I still pick up the flavors. 
Um, but the flavors don't mask the tobacco, which I think is nice. Um, when I use a tobacco product, I like one where I can actually taste the tobacco. I don't like the tobacco being drowned out by flavor. Um, so with the longevity, I still get the flavors of the snus as well as the tobacco. But even when I'm just using it, I can pick up kind of a darker essence of tobacco, very earthy, um, rich in terms of the uh, tobacco taste, which goes well with the espresso nature because the espresso, yes, it is bitter, um, but it is a rich flavor. So I find it to pair very well with the, um, with the snus. Now obviously, you know, people use snus and don't pair it with the flavor every time they do it. So I do think people who like coffee would be able to enjoy this one even if they're not drinking an espresso with the coffee. Uh, because on its own, I've used it before and uh, I find it to stand alone pretty strongly. So that's pretty good um, with, with that. But putting the two together, I think coffee lovers are gonna have a field day with this. Now let's talk nicotine strength. So there's a craft label on the side of the can and it says that this is a, uh, a Stark in terms of how strong it is. Uh, but it is on the lower end of the Stark scale. So in total, it's a Stark, but just a little bit below that in terms of nicotine proportion. Now, what does that all translate to? You know, numbers don't really mean a lot because a lot of it has to do with like free nicotine, how much nicotine you actually get. Some products say they have a lot, but you don't feel it. Some products say they have a little and you feel more. What do those numbers actually translate to when we're talking about this snooze? Well, they translate very well. Uh, it, you know, I try to stick to like regular strength myself, but I will use an occasional strong portion. Um, I find this to be just a little bit above the regular strength, but not like head kickingly strong. So it doesn't really kick right at the strong level for me. It feels a little above regular strength, almost too strong. So I do notice a little extra nicotine with it, but not like a whole lot which I like, I'm happy about that. Uh, pretty stable delivery too, no major spike with this one. Um, it does have a rise and a plateau and delivers nicotine at a steady pace the whole time I have one in, um, so, so no complaints there. Uh, regular strength is really, for me, the sweet spot. Um, you know, I'll stretch to strong on some products, but I prefer not to use anything over strong on a regular basis. Uh, I will use an extra strong like after a meal, but that's really about it for me. I don't, it's just not my thing. I know a lot of people use just crazy strong snooze and go nuts with nicotine strings, but I never really understood that. I don't know. It's just, it's not my, if, if you like that, you do you, man, but it's just not really my cup of tea or cup of espresso as it were. Ha ha, dad joke. I know my kid is already embarrassed by my coffee taste. If, uh, if my teenager heard me making dad jokes, she'd be like, dad, just hang it up, man. You're not funny. But all in all, um, this is a pretty solid snus. I find it much better than the old Ving 99. This is more natural, more premium, more rich in flavor, a better coffee, uh, a better tobacco base. So I think this is a, a much better coffee product than what I've had in the past. Some of the ones I've had years ago, I feel like this is better than those. Um, the flavor really feels developed for coffee lovers, so I, I think people who like coffee are really going to enjoy that one. Um, I do suggest pairing it with your favorite coffee drink as well, because I'm curious how coffee lovers would perceive that. I am not a coffee drinker at all. I'm completely out of my element right now using coffee snus and drinking iced espresso, but I like to experiment. I like to dive in and try different things, and I, I, think, we, I think we did that today. All in all, not a bad experience. So while yes, I am completely out of my element with this uh, coffee thing, it was fun. I enjoyed it. You know, I like trying new things and sometimes re going outside of my comfort zone. Sorry, it's loud, I'm by the highway. Uh, but it was a fun experiment. I enjoy doing random snooze adventures and this lake is really beautiful and quiet in the mornings. So I may film out here again. I haven't thought to do it in a while, but I, I come out here a lot to go fishing. So, I don't know, I'll probably do another one out here at some point. Maybe a fishing video. Who knows? The, uh, the options are limitless. So, thanks for coming along with me on another snooze adventure. Artisan Espresso is super tasty. Give it a try. You'll probably like it if you like coffee. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for me, guys. See you next time.